In this video, we're going to be setting up our storage account where we can store all our user profile images in, and we'll be setting that up. And we'll be using Azure for that. In a second, I'll show you where you can create your Azure account. And then after you create your account, we'll create a storage account. And then we'll experiment with our new storage account, uploading images using the Storage Explorer. I rarely use this Storage Explorer. I usually upload images and delete images through the C Sharp code. But in this video, I just want you to get familiar with your storage account before we actually start jumping into the code. So we'll use the Storage Explorer for that. Down in the description, you'll find these two links. And the first link here will be to this page. And this is where you create your account. Now keep in mind, you will need a credit card and also you'll need an email, but they won't start actually charging you for the first 30 days or up to $200. So you will have time to practice and get familiar with the different resources before they actually start charging you. And they will let you know before they start charging you. Uh, so after you create your account, and you click on portal, you log in and you'll end up on a page like this. Uh, you might have a lighter theme than, than I got here. I changed the theme to the dark theme. You could do that up here in the top right. But uh, once you're on this page, you wanna find the link, the storage account link. If you don't see it up here, you could just find it over here if you click on this and right here, click on storage accounts. And here you'll find a list of your storage accounts if you have any, and then you could click on the blue button to create a new account or uh, just click on add right here. And here is where we can create our brand new storage account. Now the, the resource group here, I like to think of this as a folder where you can throw all your stuff for your website. So let's say you have two different websites. Uh, like me personally, the way I set it up is I'll have two different resource groups for each of the websites. Then in each of the websites, I'll throw all the stuff for that website in that folder, in that resource group. Let, let's say, for example, you have a database and you have a storage account and you got all this different stuff for this website. You can just throw it all in that resource group and it keeps everything nice and organized. So this is a new account. I just created this account for these videos. So I don't have any resource groups. So let's create a brand new one and I'll call it Clock It Hub for our website. And that checks out great. And I already checked to see if this is available and it's called Clock It Hub Storage. So I'll enter that. Okay, so that checks out. I'm gonna put this up in the Eastern US. That's where I'm located. I'll keep these as the default. Then down here, uh, cool and hot. This depends on how frequently you're gonna be using the data that you're storing in this storage. Like in our case, we're going to be using it a lot. Every time a user logs in, they'll, they'll want to get access to their image. So I'm going to keep this hot. So we're going to be using it frequently. Now, if you have data in here that you're not using often, you can keep it as cool and it'd be a cheaper way of doing it. But I'm going to keep it at hot. So once this is all set up, you can click uh, review. And here is where you can review everything that you just entered. Then if this looks good, you just hit create. And this actually takes like a minute. And after this is done, I will be back. Okay, so we just created our brand new storage account. Now you can click on go to resource or, or this button, or you could just go here and then click on storage accounts right here and you'll find it in there. I'll just click on the blue button. And here is our storage account. Now within storage accounts, you could create what's called blob containers. And that's right here if you click on this. And here we can create a container and there's different ways you can organize your blob containers. Let's say, for example, you could have a blob container for your videos and another one for your images, another one for your PDF files, or you could break it down into like, let, let's say you could have one for your, your JPEG images, one for your PNG images. There's multiple different ways you could break it down these blob containers. I'm just going to break it down into a image folder for our profile pics. So I'm going to create a new blob container and I'm going to, I'm going to call it profile pics, profile pics. And then this is very important. Change this to the second one right here. And this will give us access to it where we could pull it into our website later on. You, you don't want it on private. Okay. So if you have the second one selected, hit okay. And here is where we're going to store all our profile pictures for our application. Now right here, you can upload a image, but we could also use the tool that Azure gives us and it's called Storage Explorer. And you could download it and set it up on your local machine. 
or you could use the portal uh, tool that they give us. If we go back here, and you can find that by clicking on this, then right here is Storage Explorer. It's the same thing. So you don't even need to install it on, onto your local machine. This is the way we'll use it. So if we click on this, and here is the profile pics blob storage we just created. Click on this. And then here we could do like upload, download. Uh, here's the URL to it, to the image that you have selected. Let's go first upload an image. And then just click on this folder here. And then select uh, any image. This is the last folder I was in. I'll just pick something out of here hit upload and here is our new image I'll close this down and then here you can just copy the URL put it and there is the image online and that's great so that is the way we're gonna store all our images now let's start getting into the real interesting stuff and we'll we'll get into the code in the next video we'll start building out our service where we where we could upload and delete images I'll start on that next